chilling out. They just pale into insignificance, but you know, compared to his love, his Nothing love is his love is so anyway, beautiful, absolutely. Everything beautiful. will always pale into significance. You got to think, you know, as as a Christian, you can live in that realm mm. of having that unconditional love coming through you all the time. Mm. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm there, but I know that's what's available mm -hmm. for me. It's what the thing that disconnects me from that is faith. Right there, and that, and I've done some in the knees, and that. Well, all you have to do is get them, so they're kind of like that. You just kind of score it and then just kind of like kind of pick it like that and it just goes exactly <laughs> like that. It's pretty easy. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it sometime. Ah. <laughs> you two could just sit and you... <laughs> <laughs> I might actually do it to these yeah, if we get a pair of scissors at some point. Just because these these were an old pair of jeans that I just, you just yeah 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 yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Weeping in his presence mm. because his love cannot be contained in a human body. Mm. And I see people right or wherever, and I'll just get so overwhelmed with his love for the person that I'll mm. just stop what I'm doing and I'll just, my heart will just start weeping over mm. the person, the circumstance, whatever yeah, they're going through. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He is beautiful. When you look in his eyes, his eyes are like liquid pools of love. Mm. His face is just so beautiful. He doesn't look at us with any condemnation. Yeah. He doesn't look at us and make us feel like we're guilty. He took all the guilt away on the cross. She's done like, um, of course, she does all like fashion design and that. She's a model as well. She does some, she makes some awesome t-shirts. You know how I've got, I've got some that have got quite low necks. Well, like, oh, she, I don't know how she makes them. But like she makes it all for him and what they've just come out of a shot because obviously she makes them all the awesome. Well, where'd you get that top? This at the brand River Island brand. Yeah, it's just River Island. Oh, sure. and they have just had different they have different uh, collections, I guess, that are, that have different names and labels, do you know what I mean? But it's does everyone, does it, does everyone, because everyone knows about it, does everyone wear the same shit, though? Not always, like, because a lot of different shops don't stock all the same as well. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, a t-shirt I could buy in River Island, Island in London, I can buy back where I'm from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Peterborough. Yeah. Like, they're just, London's just so... Like when we come out of here, man, we we'll go shopping just at Westfield and stuff. So Is that near where we d we were near where we were? That place. Oh, it's like five yeah. times. Yeah, it's huge. And they've got like they've got the the place called the village. Did you go in that bit? They've got all the, like designer jeans, guys. No. Yeah. Is this, is this lost? Oh, it's bad, isn't it? It is. <laughs> you get rid of me. Bloody hell! You got to be a bit of a bloody man to take this bloody thing on, you know? Are Shut you up, you. Yeah. Oh, God, there aren't many blokes out there that take me on. Yeah, no, I've been chilled not strong out. enough. I've been chilled out in here. On the outside, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I don't say in what long place longer than an hour and a half. I, I, love, I love going to every single party. I'm a, and I make well, there's nothing wrong with that. There is a... Yeah, but you'll learn. You'll grow out you know of what? some. Well, you'll there. grow out of yeah. some of well, that. You gotta meet the guy who's gonna love you because of Babe, that. Babe, you'll grow out of some of that. Yeah, I walk into some clubs and I hear just some people go, "Oh, I can't stand her." Oh, where, yeah, again. yeah. Where I just, I just go off my head after after I've had a few. Uh, no, but few I think we're all, all, all can be different inside here. You just gotta meet someone who loves you for it. Yeah. You'll like, grow some of that anyway. Well, I hope so. But anyway, enough about me. This show's not about me. <laughs> okay. 
bothered about myself in here. What? I am so self obsessed. It's unreal. Why? Oh, oh my god. god. I don't think you're bad. I don't, I don't make out that I am. I, yeah. I keep it on a low, but really deep down, I am the most majorly self obsessed no. person. Yeah, what makes you think that? I just do what I want to do when I want to do it. That isn't self obsessed, though, is you're it? You're always cooking for us and everything. That's yeah. not self obsessed. If you're self obsessed. I get a little buzz out of cooking for everything, so really, I'm doing it for myself anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going to have a fag. See you, babe. Bye, can I have a drag? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, of course you can. Oh, you handsome bastard. What? Yeah. I did think they did. Of course you can. And uh, I think they've got like um, three left or something like that. Mm hmm. Alright, let's get the party started then. Who's going first? What are we doing? <laughs> Hi. Who's what going are first? we doing, Stevie? What are we doing, Stevie? Whatever you want, who's going first? You, you, you. No, no, you two. No, you. You want to see what you come up with first so we can do better. You can go first and she can go second. No, you go first. <laughs> what are we doing then? Do you know what we're doing? We're sitting in God's presence. Yeah, I put two in the bag and like for some reason they keep giving me the two, so... That's all right. What, what other verse? Psalms, what other? Psalms is nice, isn't it? I like the Psalms. What I like the Psalms, Psalms Solomon. Nice. Well, in fact, let me read one. It's the yes, yeah. Solomon. Sit there a minute. Okay. Right, Inner Solomon, he was the ultimate player. Solomon. 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 Let's hear about man. Solomon. Let me, read, let me read you a little bit of the Song of Solomon. And you see if Benny can uh, swoon you like our Lord. Because <laughs> our Lord, our Lord is the best swooner ever. I'm telling you, he's the, he's the greatest. The Song of Solomon is basically... Um, Who is Solomon? Solomon was the king in Israel. He was David's son. And he was a real, real wise man. And he wrote like th a thousand... like proverbs and hundreds and hundreds of songs that are called psalms and stuff mm. but this is basically about um, a woman called the shulamite woman and her beloved and it's basically a picture of jesus is the beloved and the shulamite woman is the church who doesn't think she's anything really but is amazingly loved by her beloved it's a love story and it's only like eight chapters long and it's, it's basically the shulamite saying stuff to her lover and her lover saying stuff back to her I do this the roman most romantic, like, beautiful writing. But let me just read you a little bit of it. It says, uh, the Song of Songs, it says, um, this is the Shulamite, she says, Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine. Because of the fragrance of your good ointments, your name is ointment poured forth. Therefore the virgins love you. Draw me away. And then it says, we will run after you. The king has brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in you. We will remember your love more than wine. And then the Shulamite says, I'm like the tents of Kedah, like the curtains of Solomon. Do not look upon me because I am dark, because the sun has tanned me. My mother's sons were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. Tell me, O oh, you whom I love, where you feed your flock, where you make it rest at noon. For why would I be as one who veils herself by the flocks of your companions? And this is now the beloved, which is like Jesus talking to us. He says, if you do not know, O fairest among women, follow in the footsteps of the flock and feed your little goats beside the shepherd's tent. I have compared you, my love, to my filly among Pharaoh's chariots. Your cheeks are lovely with ornaments and your neck with chains of gold. And the Shulamite says, Why, while the king is at his table, my spike nard sends forth its fragrance. A bundle of myrrh is, is my beloved to me, that lies all night between my breasts. My beloved is to me a cluster of henna blooms in the vineyards of Engedi. And then he says back to her, Behold, you are fair, my love. Behold, you are fair. You have dove's eyes. And then she says, Behold, you are handsome, my beloved. Yes, pleasant. Mm -hmm. 